Did you know that AI technology is evolving faster than ever before? With tech giants constantly pushing boundaries, the AI world is changing at an incredible speed. Exciting breakthroughs and bold moves from industry leaders show that we are witnessing a major shift that will impact the future of technology and society. In this video, we will show you this week exciting news in the world of AI. Stick around until the end of the video because one of the news will surprise you. Let's start with the recent NVIDIA GTC conference. They just unveiled the new Blackwell GPU, which is all about boosting efficiency for AI training. Plus, they introduced a cool foundation model for humanoid robots and the idea of a digital twin for simulations. Next, during the keynote, Jensen revealed the new Blackwell GPU with up to 30 times better LLM inference performance, making real-time generative AI more efficient and cost-effective than the Hopper GPU. The Grace Hopper GPU's GH1100S and GH2200S came before Blackwell. These advancements focus on enhancing energy efficiency and speed in training larger language models. Faster training leads to cheaper and better models with increased computational power. Groot for Humanoids Robots One of the big topics at NVIDIA's GTC was all about training robots, and they had some exciting news about a brand new AI platform called Groot. Groot is a versatile foundation model created just for humanoid robots. This model can be easily customized by different robot developers to make it perfect for specific tasks and functions in the world of robotics. Additionally, NVIDIA has also announced the Digital Twin. A Digital Twin is like a virtual copy of the real world where you can try out and test things before actually implementing them in real life. It's a cool way to set up a simulation of the environment where your AIS will be used so you can play around and see how everything works in this virtual world before making any real-world changes. And as part of this announcement, they announced Earth 2. It's like a digital twin of our entire planet. Earth 2 offers incredible APIs that can simulate and visualize weather and climate on a large scale. This means we can get more accurate forecasts and timely warnings for things like hurricanes, tornadoes, and earthquakes. By using these simulations, we can predict extreme weather events much further in advance. This helps us better prevent and prepare for these events when they occur. Quantum Computing Cloud Computer chip maker NVIDIA Corp. Introduces NVIDIA Quantum Cloud, a new service for quantum computing researchers and developers. This service offers advanced quantum computing tech for various research fields like chemistry, biology, and materials science. NVIDIA Quantum Cloud based on the Q2Q platform, is utilized by many organizations using quantum processing units. It's announced at NVIDIA's GTC conference and is now in early access, provided as a microservice, aiding in building and testing quantum applications on cloud infrastructure. Also this week, Elon Musk announced the release of Grok1. Grok1 is a massive model developed by XAI with 314 billion parameters. This model falls under the category of mixture of experts and was trained entirely from scratch. The checkpoint provided here is the original base model from the pre-training phase of Grok1, which was completed in October 2023. It's important to note that this model has not been fine-tuned for any particular use case like dialogue systems. Apple-Google Partnership Apple and Google are considering partnering up for an exciting mega deal. According to a report by Bloomberg, Apple is interested in collaborating with Google to incorporate the Gemini AI model into iPhone features. This strategic move could potentially give Google a stronger foothold in the tech industry, building upon their existing partnership as the preferred search engine provider for Apple's Safari browser on iPhones. Sources familiar with the situation mentioned in the report that Apple is exploring the possibility of licensing Google's AI technology to introduce innovative AI-powered capabilities through iOS updates in the near future. Furthermore, there have been discussions with OpenAI about the potential utilization of GPT models. Exciting times are ahead for Apple and Google as they explore the possibilities of enhancing user experiences with advanced AI technology. Chatbot Store Spam OpenAI's chatbot store is filling up with spam. When OpenAI CEO Sam Altman unveiled GPT's custom chatbots fueled by OpenAI's AI models, at the company's debut developer conference in November, he touted them as versatile tools for a range of tasks like coding, exploring niche sciences, and fitness advice, to name a few. Altman emphasized that GPTs, merging instructions, vast knowledge, and actions offer substantial assistance to users. He expressed, You can create a GPT 
for virtually any purpose. He wasn't kidding about anything. TechCrunch found that the GPT store, OpenAI's official marketplace for GPTs, is flooded with bizarre, potentially copyright-infringing GPTs that imply a light touch where it concerns OpenAI's moderation efforts. A cursory search pulls up GPTs that purport to generate art in the style of Disney and Marvel properties, but serve as little more than funnels to third-party paid services, and advertise themselves as being able to bypass AI content detection tools such as Turnitin and CopyLeaks. Stable Video 3D Introducing Stable Video 3D, this generative model based on Stable Video Diffusion is a significant advancement in 3D technology, promising improved quality and view consistency. Referred to as orbital videos, it generates dynamic perspectives from a single input image. A comparison between different versions shows enhanced rendering accuracy from various angles. Other 3D objects generated showcase its versatility. Available for non-commercial use, the model weights are accessible on Hugging Face. For commercial applications, users can choose the Stability AI membership for access to various models for a monthly fee of around $1.20. Midjourney New Terms this week, Midjourney updated their terms and conditions, changing the approach to legal disputes over art made on their platform. While Google, OpenAI, and Adobe help users in similar situations, Midjourney's update states users must protect them from claims due to service use or term violations. Users are now accountable for any legal problems with images they create, unlike other platforms with supportive measures. This shift shows a riskier model for Midjourney users. Q-Star Rumors there's an unconfirmed leak about OpenAI's QSTAR, using energy-based models for responses. It's unique for mimicking human-like thought processes during complex problem-solving. This changes how dialogue systems work, focusing on inferring latent variables. QSTAR, an energy-based model, differs from common AI methods. Instead of predicting one word at a time, it looks at the whole response to find the best fit improving conversation flow for handling complex queries like a human. To get there, QSTAR undergoes extensive training. It's similar to teaching a child to speak by gradually adjusting how they form sentences. The system employs unique learning techniques to improve conversations that are sensible and relevant to the topic. Tennessee New AI Music Law Other news this week, Tennessee is the first state to protect artists against AI with the Ensuring Likeness Voice and Images Security Act, Elvis. This law expands existing legislation, safeguarding artists' identities by prohibiting the unauthorized use of AI to replicate voices, aiming to preserve their uniqueness. Implementing these measures raises questions about enforceability, especially concerning voice similarities. The law's jurisdictional reach outside Tennessee is uncertain, potentially leading to legal challenges and inconsistencies across states. Elvis underscores the artistic community's concerns about unauthorized AI use. New YouTube AI Rule YouTube now requires us to disclose if our videos were made using AI, according to their rules. There are exceptions, like animated series where it's obvious AI was used, aiming to be transparent when the content is a mix of AI and human. However, as AI gets better, it's getting trickier to spot when disclosure is needed. Right now, it's all about being honest, but there may be changes in the future to catch videos that don't mention AI use. This shows how content creation is evolving and platforms are adapting to AI challenges. So, let's stay updated, follow the rules, and keep everything transparent for our viewers. And that's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss out on any of our latest content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.